attackers have killed at least seven people in an assault on an Islamic seminary in a Rohingya refugee camp on the Bangladesh-Myanmar border, the Bangladeshi police said. The World Health Organization has estimated between 80,000 and 180,000 healthcare workers have died worldwide due to COVID-19 warning of the danger of burnout, anxiety and fatigue as the virus continues to spread around the world. Pakistan's pavilion at the Dubai Expo 2020 has swayed the people with its exquisite pitch as it attracted more than 100,000 visitors over a period of just 18 days. The removal of Al-Qaeda senior leader will disrupt the terrorist organization's ability to further plot and carry out global attacks threatening U.S. citizens, our partners and innocent civilians, U.S. Army Major John Rigsby said in a written statement late on Friday. Pakistan will provide more than $28 million in immediate humanitarian aid to Afghanistan and will ease travel and trade restrictions at its land borders, Pakistani Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi.